Hello, friends! Welcome to a very special episode of Game the Game, because we're live! I can see you in chat! I'm reading everything, so be nice to me. I'm sensitive. Anyway, I'm Becca Scott, and we are playing a live playthrough of Tiny Towns from Alderac Entertainment Group, AEG, as they're better known. So, if you have a copy of Tiny Towns, now's the time to go get it because we're playing in a special way called Town Hall. These are our slightly alternate rules where we play with a deck of cards and I can announce for everyone who's playing along at home what resource we will all be flipping at the same time. So that's very exciting. Oh, hello, Ruel's in chat and Andy and Osborne. Oh my gosh, the crew's all here. Hey guys, um, it's very exciting and I've heard that we're gonna be on Twitch front page. So if anybody is coming across this for the first time, you're in for a treat and that treat is me. I'm the treat. All right, uh, so, <laughs> so I'm basically gonna be playing by myself, but if you don't want me to play alone, you can help by rushing out to your friendly local game store and immediately buying a copy of this in the next five minutes as I go over some rules up top. And then uh, good luck getting all the shrink wrap off in that time. But it seems like a lot of you, oh, the developer of Tiny Towns, the wooden bird is here in chat. Hello, the wooden bird, little bird. <clears throat> High fives from Geika. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Captain Weirdbeard, thank you for trying to be friendly, but not uncomfortably so. That's the happy little middle ground I like to live in. <laughs> not quite uncomfortable, but overly friendly for sure. All right, so... Um, if you guys don't know how to play this game and you're watching, even though you're not playing along, there is a link that uh, I think Nightbot uh, will tell you at some point in time or there is a description somewhere. It has a link to a how to play video we made for this game and many other games. Uh, let's see, you need to play. Oh, oh, you can also buy this online if you don't like going into your friendly local game store. They are very friendly and local and you should probably support them. But uh, if not, it's also available online now starting today. I should also mention there's gonna be a giveaway of this game. You can't just sit there and snicker at chat because then I think that there's something I'm missing. Oh, my friendly local game store is very rude and doesn't open after 10 p.m. on a Friday night. Andy, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, tell them they need to be more friendly. All right, uh, so there's gonna be a giveaway of a copy of Tiny Towns at the end of today's stream. At some point, some friendly person in chat, everything is so friendly today, and tiny. Look at this tiny hammer tiny table, tiny versions of the game. Uh, these are actually playable copies, by the way. Um, so we're gonna be sending out some of this size and then one full size version of the game. It can only go to someone who's in the US or can give us a US address to send to because international shipping is tricky. That's all I can say. All I know is it's going to somewhere in the US. So 255, we will give that away. That tiny table is legit, Azariel. All right. Let's go over setup. Now, if you're playing along, which I hope you are, because AEG has been posting about this a lot, so I hope your game is already out, but uh, the way that this works is we're building a town. Um, the game ends when you can't place anything else in your town because you're out of room, and the way that it works is each building has a combination of resource cubes that must be placed in it in order to build that thing and then you can auto build you don't need to take a turn or anything like that so for example this millstone takes a wood and a stone and when you have those placed on your board you can automatically upgrade them by taking those resources off your board and placing a millstone in one of those squares it was in that's the general gist. Let's go over, because there's lots of these cards in the box, uh, multiples for each type of little wooden miniature that there is. So let's go over what we have. So cottage, that's always gonna be in your game. And it's gonna be three victory points if this building is fed. You may say, how do I feed my building? Don't worry, we'll get to that. A chapel is our orange building for this first game. It's gonna be one victory point for each fed cottage oh look at those combos whoa it's insane yes tiny hammer i love it okay uh so uh that's uh chapel is our orange building now orchard this will make sense of how to feed these cottages in order to get all these combos going together so the orchard is our red building and the orchard 
feeds all buildings in the same row and column as the orchard mini. So uh, you're gonna wanna wanna have those cottages in line with the orchard or else your chapels won't get points. You see where we're going with this? A lot of combos, a lot of synergy. It's beautiful. Now, my favorite is next. The green mini is gonna be the tavern. Now, uh, this is exponential growth. Victory points wise, one tavern is gonna get you two VP, two taverns, five VP, and so on, in escalating style. Uh, then we have our millstone. We went over what colors go into that, but it's two victory points if it's adjacent to either the orchard or the, the, the market. Uh, and that's our little gray piece. And then for the yellow piece, that's gonna be the market. So. It's gonna be one victory point for each market in the same row or column as another market. Uh, for evil, not both. Okay, so uh, that first one's gonna be a freebie and then after that, you're gonna want it in the same row and column as another one and each subsequent one will earn you one VP. Seems not like the most economical use of resources, but who am I to say? I don't know what my strategy is. We'll all figure it out together. Okay, and then the final building is the trading post. This is one straight up victory point, and it has another ability. It's kind of expensive resource wise. You can see it takes five to build it, but you may treat this trading post as a wild resource for future buildings. So that means if it's inside of the space in which you're building your other building, count it as a wild resource. But once you've already built everything adjacent to it, it won't really be helpful to you. Uh, so I think that's one you'd want to try and build early on. I wasn't looking at chat at all. Did anyone say anything interesting? <laughs> Geika says my group would enjoy this game. Pick it up at a local con this weekend. What's your local con, Geika? And can I come? I got a tiny hammer. Oh, one more thing. We each have a... Oh, I don't have my, uh, my special pink. I got it right here. See ya. We, guys, we're prepared. We're so prepared. Don't worry. All right, somewhere in here. Haha. -ha. I have my special secret uh, building that only I can build, and uh, I won't tell you what mine is. We'll reveal in due time, even though I had it face up, and you probably all saw it in the top down. Just rewind your video. But you don't like my notebook paper? Okay. All right. So that's what this pink building is. Now, uh, if you're playing at home and you have never played before and didn't read your rule book but have an unwrapped copy sitting in front of you, make sure you have one pink resource and you set up the buildings as I just told you. So one more time, cottage as always, chapel for orange, orchard for red, tavern for green, millstone for gray, market for yellow, and uh, the trading post for navy? Slate. It's definitely a slate. I know Ruel's playing along, because I know he played this on our uh, pre-recorded Game the Game episode and really killed it at this game. I can only imagine that he's gotten much better since buying it and playing it a bunch. Secret building is probably not a murder dungeon. Thank you, Andy, for defending my honor. It's not, it's not a murder dungeon. Wait, let me check. Kind of unclear whether or not there is a murder dungeon within uh, mine. It could be, depending on uh, how much imagination you use. Okay, guys, I'm ready. You ready? It's the murder dungeon. Ivan is not trapped in a murder dungeon. He's trapped in a torture dungeon. It's different. Okay. <clears throat> Too much? Family friendly? Got it. All right. Uh, oh, and don't worry. <laughs> I already got our score sheet set up. It says Becca and chat. So. We'll see who wins. Can you assign different buildings to the tokens? Yes, you can. You can and you will should you buy this box. There are, uh, I, I'm gonna say three different cards for each building type. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe the wooden bird will tell you. I don't remember putting a murder dungeon in the game. Oh, that's the expansion, giving you ideas. Uh, so town hall style is, uh, uh, I did explain a little bit, but I'll explain again, uh, is we're playing with this deck. Now this is an alternate game style because uh, you could play where you go around and each player chooses what resource everyone takes. But we're gonna play it differently so that we can all play the same game. There's four different, not three. 
I just guessed. <laughs> there are four different possible building cards for each color of token. All right. So uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to flip a card. It's got a resource on here. We're all going to take that same resource and put it on our board. Now, you don't have to do what I do. In fact, it's probably strategically best if you don't do what I do because I'm multitasking. <laughs> and you can use all your strategizing to optimize play. But uh, if you ever get to a point where you cannot add to your board because it's completely full of resources that haven't yet transformed into their full, fully fledged building form, then uh, you sit, she says, sit it out, and then we're gonna score at the end and see who wins. Probably me because I'm the only one here to say my score out loud. Right? Okay. No, you guys can tell me in chat. All right. So I'm gonna flip two cards from the stack. The third one is of your choosing. So we'll flip two cards, we'll all take those two resources, throw them all up to you. <laughs> I'm voting Becca on this round. Thanks, Chaco Noy. Okay, ready everybody? Also, uh, show of uh, chat hands, who's playing along with us? I don't know how you do that, figure it out. Okay, first flip. It's wood, y'all! One wood. Do we have a cool graphic? Are we gonna pop up with some wood? <laughs> Yeah, that's some wood, okay. Uh, so let's see, placement, strategy. What's my secret here? Uh-huh, uh-huh, ooh, it's pretty good. Where is it? All right, so uh, I know from all my card counting that in this deck there are three of each color. So I know, let me see two more. That market is interesting, but not the most optimal play. Uh, millstone. Look, I'm gonna overthink it so you guys can, can have some time. You know what, I think it's really important to feed the people. If you're gonna be a benevolent town mayor. Uh, and so I'm gonna start building an orchard by putting it in this bottom corner. Second card, everybody! Oh, I'm trying to see who raised their hand, okay. <laughs> and it's brick! Second card is brick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love it, love it. We got one clover leaf of a hand raise. Oh, AEG Todd, hello. Great to see you, great to have you here. Let's all play a brick. Okay, now taverns are very important to me as a human, and so I want them to be important to my tiny town. But if I'm working on my orchard, it's gonna need a cottage to feed. So that seems like a good option too. Uh, I'm gonna put it right about uh, here. Great. Now it's of our choosing. Becca, don't forget to discard five cards. John Zinzer, get out of here. Who let you in here, John? That's not, is that true? Discard five cards? No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, okay, so we have revealed the secret word. If you want a free copy and you live in the US, type in hammer time, only type it once. It does not help your chances if you type it more than once and it enters you in the competition. Giveaway, free giveaway, the raffle. It's not really a competition. Uh, so make sure you type the word hammer time if you live in the US. Uh, one word, Kano Smash, just one word. Just like MC Hammer intended, okay. So I'm gonna choose my third item to place. Cottages are great because um, they, they are only three resources and then you get a building, but I'm gonna do a wheat so I can get to work on my orchard. See what's going on here? You guys copying? You copying my homework? <laughs> what, are you laughing at the word hammer time? Yeah. Hammer time. Hammer time, hammer time, hammer time. All right, now everybody should have placed their third resource of their choice. Now this is number four, stone. Ooh, this is great for my orchard, just as God intended. John was actually right, you do discard five of the cards at the top of the round. What? On the discard pile. Oh, John, I didn't believe you. I thought you were screwing with me. <laughs> Well, now what? Should I put five on the bottom? Okay, one, two. I'm not gonna show you what they are. I'm discarding five and putting them on the bottom. All right, mysteries, mysteries abound. 
Working on that trading post, Peter McPherson. Ooh. You know, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it first. You gotta go big or go home. But uh, I wanna go for the easy VP. That's what I'm all about. Uh, so I've placed my stone, now I'm gonna place the second card of this little round here. Wood. My orchard already has a wood. My cottage doesn't need a wood. Ooh, millstones are pretty great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well, well. Let's uh, let's just start working on this millstone, shall we? It's gonna be, put a wood right there. Now it's all up to me, and I'm gonna place another wheat and build an orchard. All right, this is the moment of truth for anyone who's never played and happens to be watching the stream because they just like us here at Geek and Sundry. Uh, so, when I have the resources, in a configuration that matches one of the cards, it can also be mirrored or upside down or anything like that, uh, then I will turn in all of those cubes. Boop, 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 boop. For the corresponding building, which I'm building an orchard, I can place it in any of the four squares that I just had a resource in. And because this feeds all um, buildings in the same row and column, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, yeah because I want it kind of close to that cottage that I'm working on. That's what that brick is right there. Ooh. Does the trading post affect spaces that are diagonal as well as orthogonal? Uh, it depends on the configuration. It just counts as a wild, but it has to be in a place that you would put a resource. So for example, if I had a trading post in, uh, in that corner of that orchard right here, I'm going to great lengths for this example. Okay, if I had that here, I could have the other pieces of my orchard, and then I would turn that in to put my orchard down. Uh, but then you can't move your trading post once it's placed. Did you guys see how I just cheated there? No, just kidding, I didn't. It was a joke, okay. Don't expect that. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jake the director is shaking his head because there's nothing he can do when we're live. There's nothing he can do. Okay. Well, I guess it's time for, uh, I place my wheat of my choosing. Now we'll flip a new card. Everybody do a brick. Get that brick. Aw. Wow, not yet. You still have the emote I made many years ago for the channel that I never update emotes on. I appreciate that. This is Marth, you too. Thank you. Okay. Where to place this brick? I can start on a uh, new little cottage. And, uh, hmm, I'm gonna do it right there. Okay, one more card for everybody. Stone. Hey, Sprinkles, good to see ya. Where to place said stone? A cottage needs no stone. Hmm. I could, I could make a millstone, but it would not be adjacent to my orchard. I've ruined everything. <laughs> I think I want to try and build a market because uh, if I build a market, then I can put some millstones adjacent to it. And it's just going to be a whole happy party. All right, so we're going to do stone way up here. Because now is a special time in every round of card drawing where you get to choose which resource ignites your soul. You, <laughs> I've lost already? Me, Oakster? No, I'm doing great. My future in city planning is at stake. Zaya's Games, you really think that I have a future in city planning? <laughs> for, for it to be at stake? Okay, decisions. I'm really hoping that this cottage thing works out for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and place a glass. Ooh, we haven't come across glass or wheat, really, in this stack. <laughs> I'm metagaming it. Okay, I'm gonna put a glass right here in my corner piece of my cottage. <laughs> the oakster has small, small bit of faith that I can pull it off. I appreciate that. All right, everybody placed? Obelisk of the Crescent is a fun one, Peter McPherson says. I don't have that one. Oh, Obelisk of the Crescent. I think that's what Gina played in our Game the Game episode, and that's a pretty cool one. I believe that's the one that says that you can place, uh, after you've spent your resources, you can place that building anywhere on your board. Pretty cool. 
And Insomnia, how are you already at 42 victory points? You're making it up. <laughs> Send me a picture. All right, everybody, place a wheat. Wheat am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, uh, I'm gonna place it right here. And now I have created a beautiful cottage. Now the tricky part is where do I place it? I think right there. Yeah. Happy little townspeople living their happy little life. And now the orchard will fill all, feed all buildings in the same row and column. 3VP for me, not 42. I'm feeling good about my choices, you know? Okay, so that was the first card flip, second card flip. Ooh, stone. Oh, stone. All right, uh, I was thinking about building a market, so let's, let's keep with that. Oh, God dang it. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay. You can laugh at me. Uh, hmm. Ooh, okay, so I was gonna try and turn this stone into a market. Uh, and then, and then I'm gonna get, uh, then I could put a millstone next to that market. That seems like a real long game kind of play. Or, I could just keep comboing my cottage orchard situation because the chapel is gonna get one victory point for each fed cottage. That seems pretty dope, actually. I'm gonna try and do that. Okay. Now I get to place of my own volition, and I think, uh, I wanna keep this chapel situation going. We're gonna place a glass. Have you all decided? Choose a resource! It's up to you. Whether or not your town lives or dies. Okay. Well, there was a pun? Wild Mage, what was your pun? Chat's moving too fast. This is more of an insight into Becca's gaming psyche than a pre-recorded game of the game. Uh-oh. Geo 14, you'll see that I have no plans. It's just pure luck. <laughs> 27 points for the pun. Well done. All right, wheat, everyone. Go wheat yourself. All right, I'm gonna start on a new little cottage. It's gonna go right here. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, so that was number one. Maybe I should be flipping somewhere else, okay. And number two, glass, y'all, this. It's insane. I said I'm gonna make a chapel, and I made a chapel. What? It's incredible. Oh my God, I'm so talented at tiny towns. I'm gonna turn in these four, put a beautiful chapel. Uh, it doesn't matter its location because nothing else is affected by it, so I'm gonna go as far away from other stuff as possible. Ooh, ooh, or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm gonna go here. Oh man, or he, no, that's not a place. That's not, those aren't places where I had a thing. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is, I've placed it. No more choices to be made. All right. <clears throat> Going to the temple. No. What have you, yeah, that's right, it's live. Okay, I'm giving it a shuffle, everybody. So uh, that was the second uh, that was, that glass was, uh, a, a, when we were all placing together, and now I have a chance to choose whatever I please. I think I played this last year at our cons free play area. It seems vaguely familiar. Pika, I bet you did. I bet you might have done that. All right, so I'm gonna flip five so that, uh, we don't know what's coming. You card counters you. What should we be playing if we don't have tiny towns? Oh my god, that's awkward. I don't have tiny towns. Uh, don't know what to tell you. Um, thumb twiddling is pretty fun, or <laughs> you can go to aeg.com and alderac.com and <laughs> find all kinds of other awesome games. All right, so I get to play something of my choosing right now. And that's gonna be a uh, hoot right there. Okay, next up, we're gonna flip a card. 
Stone, everyone. Time to get stoned. In your town. Just you by yourself. Okay. I think I'm over markets. They're not, they're not working out great for me. But this millstone, if I put it in this bottom corner here, it could get me two victory points. But then again... Okay, yeah, that seems that seems like the most brilliant plan anybody could ever come up with. So I'm going to put a stone down here. My plan is there's going to be a little millstone here, and then it's going to be adjacent to this orchard. Two points, baby. All right, second flip. Brick. Unbrick and believable. Okay. Uh, with this brick, I shall build another cottage by placing it like so. Guys, moment of truth. Everything's happening. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my my special little building that's just for me here. And uh, let's see, I'm turning in a glass of wood, a brick, and a wheat to build Mandra's Palace. Two victory points for each unique adjacent building type. Now it may seem crazy that it's next to nothing, but the fact is I didn't plan that that very far ahead and it is what it is that's where it's gonna be now i need to build some stuff close to it so it can score some points uh so i hope you all placed one of your choosing and are you building a brick house no it's a cottage it's got a thatched roof i don't get your joke i watched a video about how to do sarcasm so i hope it came off well anyway uh time to flip a new card <laughs> Get your wheaten. See what you did there, Odie. All right. We're going to place a wood, everyone. One wood for you and all your friends. Ooh. Now, I have a question for the wooden bird. I assume adjacent doesn't include diagonal, as someone else already asked this in chat, and I answered, no, it doesn't. But now that it would benefit me, I want it to. <laughs> Because my Mondra's Palace would do very well to have this millstone do something diagonal to it. Anyway, uh, I place that wood to create a millstone, and there we go. Haha, -ha, 2 VP right there. Because it's next to an orchard. Like any m good millstone, you know? You want to you wanna be taking the weed out of the orchard. Fuck, that's apples. I mean, ooh, we're live. <clears throat> If I say it under my breath, it doesn't count. <laughs> Thank you, Wooden Bird, for the answer and for the sad emoji, but I don't feel like you're really sorry. Wheat! Everyone, please, take your wheat and place it where, wherever you like to wheat it up. <laughs> All right, I'm looking at the board. I've already got an orchard. The only other thing that requires wheat is cottages. Because I've already built my Mandra's palace. So uh, I'm going to want that cottage to end up in line with this orchard. Because that's how it scores for me. Uh, so put it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Was this, was this my first? <laughs> yes. I'm going to guess it was. Wheat was the second. Now it's time for me to get wild. Place whatever I want. I'm losing track, people but I think that's right. Okay, uh, so choices, choices. You're done, don't, don't get in my face. Uh, I could finish this cottage, that seems great. I'm gonna place glass here. Voila, yet another incredible cottage for me. Boom, I place it here so it can be in line with my orchard. The people like to look outside the window and see apple trees. It's just very peaceful, you know, it's very, uh, idyllic, as they say. Get enough wheat and you get a wheat ton. More wheat, I barley have any need for it. Thanks, Geo Fortian. Uh, adjacent is orthogonal. That, yeah. Orthogonal is a great word. Love it. Love it. Okay. So that was a wooden wheat. And then I did one of my choosing. Come here, I'm going to tap that. Okay. We'll do a flip. Glass. Great, that's what I just pulled, that's fine. Okay. All I want in life is more cottages. You know, I'm set up 
or an optimal situation, we're just gonna start building all the cottages one could ever want. In one of these two places. Next flip. Hubs, thanks for being on my team. Is that what you just don't wanna, you don't wanna lose? You wanna ride my, my winning coattails? I get it. I'm not opposed to that decision. All right, uh, I've got a wheat. I'm really, really feeling my cottage building trend, so. Okay, shoot. So I put this here, and then we could build another cottage there. But then I'm out of spots that could go next to my orchard, or, you know, in a column or row with my orchard. So I'm gonna need a new orchard soon. And uh, running out of sets of four squares in which to build it. So uh, let's go ahead and get to work on an orchard instead of another another cottage. So I can live my best life, you know? All right. Now it's up to me and I'm going to I'm going to play a brick in order to get another cottage, clean up some space here. I take up my cottage. What are you building? What are you building at home? Should I have built a trading post? Are you winning because of your trading posts? You know, Going for the long game is always smart, but sometimes I just need the cottage right in front of me. I designed this game to stress people out. Is it working? <laughs> no, I find it incredibly peaceful. So you failed in that regard, but you've succeeded in making a great game. New Orchard, who dis? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Zaya's Games, thank you for subscribing. No cottage. No to cottages, tiny red giant? Where are you gonna live if not in a cottage? You gonna live under that apple tree? You're gonna get real sick of eating apples. Okay, so I placed a brick to make that cottage, so these are now gonna be tapped, because I have a new system. Hi, my first sub, thanks! Oh, Zaya's Games. For your first sub? <laughs> it's kind of awkward. If you told me it was your first time, I don't know if I... <laughs> Would have gone through with it. Uh, okay, everybody draw a glass. <laughs> Children don't get the joke. It's fine. I don't know if it's funny. Anyway, hey, uh, Demono had an excellent pun. <laughs> have some points. <laughs> okay, Ruel lol so I feel good about it. All right, uh, I have a glass and I don't know what to do with it. It can't go in my orchard. I could start on a new cottage. I did talk up a big game about taverns and I don't even have any. But you know what? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna place it in this corner so I can put my last cottage over here. It's not really helping with my Mandros Palace points, but such is life. Okay. I don't know how that's related to life. Uh, next card, wood. What would you do? All right. Working on that orchard. <laughs> Hubs has been riding my coattails to victory since 2015. I appreciate that, Hubs. Especially because you don't always win on my coattails. All right, now it's time to choose my own resource. <sighs> We've really got to get this orchard going. If I get another stone, I'm gonna put it in the orchard. So I'm gonna place a wheat because wheat is something I'm happy to keep getting. So we'll go there. All right, time for a new flip. <sighs> Healer of the light, this is how I play with the chat. This is how a large group can all play together or you can play solo mode this way, but uh, technically we're all building based on the cards I flip. If you're playing in traditional, you know, regular rules, then uh, you go around the table and each person calls out the resource that everyone takes and you all have to take it whether or not you want it. So it can really muddy up your board if it's something you don't want. Okay, so now I predicted that I might draw a stone and stones are not exactly something I'm typically building except for this orchard. That was a lucky guess on my part and now I will place an orchard in one of those four squares. Uh, and Orchard will feed all cottage buildings in the same row and column. So this is, this is a moment of truth right here. Uh, let's see. If I put it, it's already going to score, uh, ooh, 
feeds all buildings. So this one's already fed. I could build something down on this bottom row here, potentially. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place here. Because it's also unique. Uh, the Madras Palace scores for each unique building that's in a square adjacent to it. And I'm going to have a lot of cottages, but I might as well put something else that's not a cottage next to it. All right. How you doing? Am I beating you? I hope I am. It means a lot to me that I win. But also, winning's not everything I've been told. All right. Glass is the next thing we're all placing down. I guess I'm going to start on a new cottage. If I wanted to do a tavern, I couldn't. Uh, unless it was one of those two spots. This is when it gets tricky. Because you get down to the end and every empty square is going to count negatively against you. Or every square that doesn't hold a building. It, it has to hold a resource because you have to keep placing resources on your board. But when you can no longer build buildings, that's when you're out of the game. And I guess uh, I'll just flip a few more times after I'm out, assuming that some people are doing very well and still building things. Ooh, is Rado runs through in chat right now? Rado, are you here? I don't know if he is, someone mentioned him, and I'm a big fan of Rado. Just wanna shout that out, okay. Uh, let's see, oh yes, and if you are just joining us, type hammer time in chat just once, no spaces, and you will be entered in the running to win a copy of this game, but we can only ship it to you to an address in the United States, so either find a friend that can take it, or uh, make up an address, I'll give you mine. Hi, Rado! I watch your videos all the time, thanks for being awesome. Okay. I'm still making a decision here. You at home playing along probably already made that decision. I know Ruel did, but I'm taking my sweet time. If I have two chapels, never mind. I can't fit chapels anymore. Okay, we're gonna go cottage up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, time for a shuffle. Oh no! Time for me to place something of my choosing. All right. I don't want stone. Uh, to finish my two cottages I've started, I'm gonna need um, uh, two bricks and two wheats, which means if I get a stone, I'm gonna be totally screwed. It's just gonna have to go in this one space that I don't plan on finishing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go for a brick. Voila. Thank you. I shall. I shall shuffle. And then I will be discarding five. Oh, QZE, you got a bingo! Bingo! <laughs> oh, Healer of the Light is also a Rado fan. Who isn't, really? I would have to say Rado and Rodney Smith are my idols. Throwing that out there. <laughs> I just noticed the, the tiny chair and table. <laughs> Shout out to our producer, Ash, Ash Minnick. She's been a guest on uh, many a show and is an excellent producer. And uh, she made us tiny, tiny towns. <laughs> and uh, it's also her birthday. So if you're friends with her online, please make sure you tweeted her happy birthday. All right, I'm gonna discard five. Ooh, one, a two, a three, a four, five. Ash hype. All right. Guys, this is where I get really scared because if I fill it up with stupid stones and wood, I'm gonna have so many negative points. Whew. Oh, it's Marisha's birthday too? Oh, happy birthday to Marisha. Okay, uh, this is a busy birthday week. I've got three friends in a row having birthdays. Anyway, wood. That's what I specifically said I didn't want, but I'll take it, it's fine. We're gonna go right here in my one spot where I could take something I didn't want. Lit, stone, cool. The other thing I didn't want. Now here's a moment of truth. If I, I'm gonna put it here so I can build a millstone in one of these two spots. If I put it in the space next to the pink, then I will get two victory points for having another unique adjacent building next to my Mandra's palace. But if I put it in the other spot, I'll still be able to finish this cottage I was working on. I think I'm gonna, 
I think I'm gonna go for the Mondros Palace victory points because this can still be turned into a tavern. And then I have one sad square that will never ever get finished. Oh, maybe that's a reason why I shouldn't do that. <laughs> what would Ruel do? Seriously, Ruel, what are you doing? Uh, okay, we're gonna build this millstone. You can't build a settlement less than two roads away from another settlement. Oh my gosh, speaking of, somebody just tweeted at me. There, never mind, it's about a different game. Okay, there's there's like a Catan expansion. It's a deck of cards that kind of does the same thing that Star Trek Catan does. Anyway, I've mentioned too many properties that aren't this one. <laughs> okay, a millstone. Oh, I should probably look at its win condition. All right, yeah, it, it's gonna score me two victory points only if it's adjacent to that orchard, so that makes the decision for me. Why did I think so long and hard about it? I don't know. But now, it's time for me to place something of my choosing. I could either finish a tavern, which will get me two victory points, or I could finish another cottage, which will get me three victory points. And as we all know, two is more than three. But, okay I'm, gonna, okay, I'm gonna grab a brick, and this brick is going here, and I'm turning this into a tavern. And the tavern, my very first of the game, uh, still leaves room for me to build another cottage in this corner, unless I uh, draw a card I don't like, and then it's just gonna dirty up my board. We'll see what happens. All right. Keep your play area tidy, everybody. Brick, love it. That's my jam. We're gonna put this brick up here. All we need is a wheat, and we got a cottage, baby. That's how you build it. <laughs> and I got that wheat. All right. So there's a brick and a wheat this turn, and now everybody gets to choose a resource of their choice. Cottage incoming. Okay. Now I have to be in line with uh, one of um, one of my orchards, so I can go in either of these two spots. Uh, and either way, I'm gonna have an opening for a millstone to go in that final spot, but it will only score if it's adjacent. I'm metagaming this real hard, okay. I've placed, have you? Now I get to play something of my choosing. <sighs> this is hard, I kinda just wanna see what happens, but basically, for the world to be beautiful and perfect, I'm gonna want a millstone here and a cottage here. So basically, I'll, I'll take one of everything and then I'm gonna try and build one more millstone after I built that cottage. And then that's my game. Um, so I guess it's advantageous to take, I need to get the cottage in and out first. So let's go with wheat. <sighs> this could have been the worst decision of my life. <laughs> We'll see. All right, did everybody pick one of their choosing? John Sensor, why'd you say, uh-oh? <laughs> Risky strategy? Oyster, I'm doing fine, okay? <sighs> Glass. Yes. All right, going in the corner. All I need is a brick. It's a wheat. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. But on the bright side, I remembered to use a live stream friendly word. <clears throat> All right, so nothing can be built that is a combination of a wheat and one other thing. So I'm gonna just end up mucking up this area here, but I guess it doesn't matter, I have to place it somewhere. All right, and now I'm gonna place something of my choosing that will be a brick so I can build this cottage. And uh, in order for it to score, it can go in either of these two spots it's not gonna score me two points with the Mandra's Palace, but that's just fine. Uh, and then I will place, probably try and place a uh, millstone in the other spot. Uh, and the millstone will score nothing. Dang it. Okay, choices. Oh man, my, it's not worth it to build a millstone except to not have an empty square because uh, it will only score if it's adjacent to either an orchard or a market, and I have no markets in my orchards are over there. The dumb old wheat in the way. Ooh, but it will score for Mondra's Palace, so that's cool. All right, it is what it is, people. 
so that wheat completed my cottage, meaning this next one is of my choosing. And, uh, big decision. Huge. I have a feeling that I'm going to draw stone. So I'm going to place wood. Shut up, Jake. <laughs> Deep inhales of breath. Okay, makes me nervous. Come on, stone. <laughs> yes, got it. All right, so now I can place a millstone. Uh, it's not going to score points by itself, but it will score points for being adjacent to Mandra's palace. So we'll put it there. Now there's nothing else I can build, but my board is not completely full, so I'm not quite out of the game until I've filled it, so I'm gonna flip another one. It is yet another stone. And now of my choosing, I'll just throw wood in there. And my game is done. My watch has ended. <clears throat> Hashtag tiny towns. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna flip a few more cards, because all y'all at home might still be playing if you did a better job than I did, which seems difficult. But anyway, uh, okay. So, yikes, I'm out with 14 points. Okay, who's still going? Wooden Bird's still going. Uh, chat wins. That's correct, Chaotic Looney. So I'm going to flip again. Wheat. We're going for wheat. Take a wheat. Place it on your board. Uh, I hope that messed you up, Wooden Bird, because I don't want you to get more points than me. Oh, a pen! Because scoring's happening soon. All right, I'm flipping again. <laughs> wood. One. Wood. <laughs> the slow dissolve kills me. All right, place your wood, everybody. Place that wood. <laughs> Close game, Peter McPherson. That's a sweet draw. <laughs> All right, now everybody who's still playing, place one of your choosing. Ruel is out. Wooden Bird is done. All right, then I think we're all done because Ruel and <laughs> the creator of the game uh, are probably the best at this game ever in the universe. So, what internation is going on? Vink Terranova. If you're just joining us, we are playing a game called Tiny Towns by Alderac. Uh, we've just finished a game I'm about to score, and then we'll start a new one. If anybody has a copy of this game, we're playing a version called Town Hall, where anybody with a copy at home can play along. Basically, I'm the town crier calling out which resource we all take. We have to place it on our board. We turn in those resources to place a building in their place. And, uh, oh my gosh, Peter McPherson's still in. Okay, we're gonna flip some more cards for you. How many spaces do you have empty, Peter? Becca says you're out. <laughs> all right, let's flip five. Because I guess John wasn't lying about, about, you know, knowing the rules. I have no idea what this is. It's a tabletop game, Vinx Terranova, and I'm Becca. Hello and welcome. All right, everybody ready? Specifically, uh, Peter? One for Peter is a brick. Take that brick, take that brick. Vinx doesn't believe I'm real. How do I know your name? Do you think we already planned this? We just knew you'd come into chat? Thanks for calling me a good host, by the way. <laughs> You're done when Becca says you're done. Thanks, Demono. That's correct. My word is law. All right, for John, one more card. I said John, I meant Peter. Uh, oh, hubs. Best emote on all of Twitch. I did score 14 points, John. I don't, I feel like, you know, I think last time I played, I scored in mid-20s. So. <laughs> we'll see what happened. Uh, another wheat. Wheat is the card. Wheat. A brick and a wheat, and then one of your choosing. So, uh, Vinx, the way this game works, specifically in the variation that we are playing, is that we all take that resource. After we do that two times based on the card, everybody gets to pick which resource, which is the most exciting part. I love choosing resources. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make a conservation joke. And the words weren't there. We should score soon. Oh my gosh, guys, it's 2.49. I don't think we're gonna have time to play again because uh, we're going to do a giveaway in just five minutes. Five and a half, 
according to my clock. But uh, <laughs> somebody is going to win a copy of this game to be shipped somewhere in the United States. Peter is now done. All right. So Peter was who I was waiting on. So I'm going to go ahead and score. What do I do with my chat points? You revel in them. You, you write them down on pieces of paper and you make it rain on, on top of yourself. Okay. So here's how this works. I got a very cool scoring sheet on a scoring pad. If I could get zero points for the trading post, none at all. Didn't want one. Cottage points. So the cottage says three victory points if this building is fed. What is fed, you may ask? For the orchard, it says feeds all cottage buildings in the same row and column. So the orchard doesn't score on itself, on, on its own, uh, but it does help the cottage to score. So let's look. I've got one, two, three, four, five cottages, and they're all fed because they're either in a row or a column with an orchard. So uh, four times three is 12. Oh, man. Oh, man. All I want to do is beat Ruel. All I want to do. Okay, we got five minutes. i got to score faster. Uh, let's see. No, that's a tavern. Boop, boop, beep, boop. <gasps> Ash, this is why you get a birthday. Because <laughs> you can count good. All right, so five times three is 15. But guess what? I'm really good at turning twos into fives, so I feel good about this. <laughs> Oh, that's right, everybody. Type hammer time in chat with no space if you want to be added into the running to uh, win this raffle of a game of Tiny Towns that we're giving away in four minutes. Also, International Tabletop Day. It's a thing. It's happening on June 6th. June 1st. Not the thing I said before. June 1st. We, 6-1. <laughs> that's the 6th. That's where I... Anyway, International Tabletop Day. There's going to be a lot of streaming on this channel. There's going to be a lot of live stuff going on. It's going to be super cool, and you better come check it out at twitch.tv slash geekandsundry. Also, at exactly 3 p.m., we will be cutting this stream to go live with Because Science with Kyle Hill. It is an excellent show. Hope you stick around for that. I got to score faster so we can do this giveaway. Uh, let's see. My chapel. One victory point for each fed cottage. Guess what? That's five points right there because I'm awesome. Feeding my people. Tavern is just two victory points because I've only got the one. No markets. Because you know what? These people are not about consumerism. That's not what this tiny town is about. Two millstones and they're two victory points each if adjacent to a market or orchard. Now this little guy, he is not next to any of those things, but the other two are. So that's four victory points for yours truly. And Mandra's Palace is my special card that only I have. I don't know what you guys have at home, but I hope it didn't score more points than my card. I get six victory points. Yeah, because uh, it's two for each unique adjacent building type. I've got one orchard, one cottage, and one millstone. Six points. And then uh, anything without a building, that's minus one point for me. It's going to be one, two, three, minus three. I don't feel too bad about it. Now watch me math. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can watch me math from above. Here we go. We got 15 plus 5 is 20. Plus 2 is 22. Plus 4 is 26. Plus 6 is 32. Minus 3 is 31. Yeah. Fuck off. I uh, fudge yourself. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible, so if I happen to be right, people will be really impressed. <laughs> 15 plus 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22, plus 4 is 26, plus another 6 is 32, minus 3. Okay, I see where you got 29 now. 29. What do you got? What do you got at home, everybody? We had a lot of gray. You made the game, Wooden Bird! You could have stacked the deck however you chose. I guess it's not how stacking a deck. Reverse math is hard. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the forward math, also known as addition, but that reverse math, that subtraction is real hard. Carry the four, subtract the six. 49? It's like you invented this game or something. I'm so perfect. Of course you got 33, because you're so perfect. Uh, you beat the designer. I had 26. Thank you, Peter. I feel very good about that. Ruel, did I beat you? <gasps> You know that was my personal goal. <laughs> 
Luckily, I'm skilled in turning other numbers. <laughs> Thanks for quoting me, Gio Fortian. I really appreciate that. Guys, oh my gosh, it's 2.55. What does that mean? What does that mean for hammer time? Hammer time is the time that it now is. Anyone? I heard someone might be wearing a... Devin, you're off screen and you're not wearing a cape or a mask. <laughs> <laughs> well, I agreed on it. You just didn't verbally consent. I, I would like the recipient of this tiny towns uh, to be written on a piece of paper and handed to me in a golden envelope, if possible. And I shall read it aloud. Keep, keep, just keep filling time. That's what this means. Guys, one of you will win. And one of you will not only win a copy of Tiny Towns shipped anywhere in the United States, but you will also feel a deep sense of personal achievement. You will know that you have won something because you typed the word hammer time into a chat room on twitch.tv. And you're gonna feel special. By the way, if anybody came across this because we were on the front page of Twitch, thanks. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you stay tuned because in exactly four minutes, we will switch on over to Because Science with Kyle Hill. He's going to teach you cool stuff about science and pop culture, you know, whether it really works, whether Ant-Man could explode yes, Thanos sir. from inside a, a booty. Winner! Can I just keep this? Yeah, <laughs> I would like to wear it. <laughs> oh, it's got little cute star stickers. Thanks to Devin, by the way, everybody. Tell Devin thank you. He's the one in charge of making all the things happen in chat, AKA Denoba, I guess. Better known to y'all as such. <sighs> Nobody won? Oh, no, he Oh, okay. Well, I thought there would be something in the envelope. <laughs> B3, actually, you just won a copy of Tiny Towns. Make sure we get your address so we can ship it to you. Did I just get pin on my shirt? I don't know. B3, A, C, H, L, E, Y. B, actually, B, actually, is that like elite E3? Anyway, doesn't matter because we have three more minutes of joyful time together. So guys, let's turn this into an AMA. That stands for Ask Me Anything, someone who once went on Reddit told me. I'll answer all the questions we can in exactly three minutes, but only if they were related to tiny towns. Also, you can ask uh, the wooden birdie, whatever you like. Yeah, yeah, we got designers in chat. You can ask them things about this game, this very wonderful game. We want it, ooh, ooh, we could do a little reveal of some of the other, oh, thanks for coming out. We can reveal some of the other cards. We were gonna, we had it all set up, should we play a second game? But this was only a one hour live stream. So let's see, if we could go to the top down for just a moment. How's Oshi been? Oshi is my dog and he has the sweetest dog of all time. You can find him on my Instagram story. I try not to cloud up the regular Instagram, you know, pain page. Anyway, that's enough about my dog. We've got the Abby. Ooh, this is a good one. Three victory points, if not adjacent to the factory or blue, as we call it. Ooh, <laughs> and factory, oh my gosh. Well, let's just jump to where the, the card insert is. Uh, when constructed, place one of the five resources on this guy. Ooh, this is my favorite one because, let me show you how it works. You get to balance it. Oh, it's so cool. Brilliant design. Oh, can we see, can we see? That's a, oh, it's hard to see. It's hard to see, guys. Here we go, here, here. That's how it works. Look how it fits in there so nice, nice and neatly. Uh, when another player names that resource, or uh, in this case, when we're playing Tal Hall version, when I flip the card, uh, you can place anything. So uh, the blue factories are usually something pretty awesome that takes a lot of resources to construct. What's inside of the box, like storage-wise? Oh, <laughs> I see, I see your question. I didn't know if that was referring to the game or, here we go. Top down, please. Here's the Tiny Towns box. We got perfect bags. We got a nice little insert. Guys, who doesn't love a good, well-organized box with lots of good places for things to go? I love it. I know you love it too. Anyway, that's what the inside of the box looks like. Good thing we had this special AMA. 
moment. Guys, one minute until Because Science. And once again, make sure you tune in on June 1st. That is a Saturday. And make sure you check out International Tabletop Day. Geek and Sundry and invented it, and so it is the place to be. Also, your friendly local game store might have... Oh my god, it's 3 o'clock. I have to stop what I'm doing, and you got to watch Because Science. Thank you so much for being with me on this special, special live game to game. See ya.